I'd rather he was in front than behind. <laughs> okay. Weird. Hello. No? Okay. <laughs> I think I'm a bit overdressed tonight. Apparently it's 12 degrees and it's only going to go down to 8. So I could be a little bit overdressed. <laughs> yeah, nothing coming. last actually on a road or we could just pedal and go lockdown 2.0 day two <laughs> brush hour two okay maybe of lockdown we're out again hoping to do 25 27 miles something like that 27 miles we got planned I've actually got the route on my Wahoo in front of me so I'm being tested with map reading skills <laughs> good luck with that one I think I should give up the coats. I am baking again. Oh, okay, we're going around here. There you go, Shay Fred. Packed, queued again. Oh, okay. Yeah, she probably do. All right, stop wherever you want. We'll put it on. There we go. Yay! Boing, 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 boing. It's only really when you stop you realise how bouncy it is. <laughs> oh, hello, she's doing bunny hoppy stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, if you come bike packing this way, use the National Cycle Network in the summer, July and August. This is the road you would use instead of the promenade. It basically follows the line of the cliff. So the sea is just on the right hand side. So if, for instance you were coming down from Bath, you would come in at Shaw Road, but you'd go up Haven Hill, which would bring you to here, one way or another. And uh, yeah, you just follow it round at the top rather than at the bottom. Oh, that's a big one, whatever that is. Or is it two together? Yeah, two together. That's too long to be one. So uh, yeah, cruise ship update, four. Still four, so it hasn't changed actually for quite a while. And they do look like the same boat, so. And I saw some uh, posters in the window at Hayes Travel and it actually said get uh, cruising updates for 2022. So it's possible, I guess, that 2021 is not happening or they've reserved 2021 for all the 2020 passengers. Now these 
misbehaving climbing gears are uh, going to cause me an issue in a minute very steep ramp to go up in a moment and if they don't engage halt <laughs> that's going to be a problem excuse me please oh dear watch your back mate another one behind me no worries no worries at all right i need to get some i won't get up in this gear i don't think oh get up there Ooh. there you go that was the gear i had so that's the gear i had to make work Eek. cool that gets steep there i did it though <laughs> well it's certainly windier today than it was yesterday and look at that sea i don't know if you can see it on my gopro but wow <laughs> go out by the Russell Coates. Yeah. yeah. Right, I don't know what to do about these gears. I don't know what's happening. Good bit of headwind, which we're going to have throughout the middle of the ride. But uh, hopefully, a little bit of help getting home. <laughs> oh, looks like this is the gear I've got. For some reason, I can't get in the 11 and uh, the top three cogs just aren't interested. Jumping all over the place. So I don't know what's happened. Gonna have to have a proper look at it. It was running absolutely perfect yesterday. We are into the wind. <laughs> it's really strong tonight. So we're having to work quite hard. Uh, we're aiming for Hangersbury Head. We're going to go down to the head and come back towards Christchurch. Uh, there must be wind behind at some point on this journey. <laughs> Almost time to turn and head for home. And we should have the wind behind us then all the way. Fingers crossed. Hello. How's the music? Now that is a surprise. Hey, guess what? James Morrison has got a top just like yours. Same colour and everything. Yeah. Coral pink or whatever it's called, yeah. Okay. There you go. Needless to say, you're going to have to synchronise your wardrobes next time we ride together. Oh, yeah, Otherwise, one of you's going to go off in a hissy fit. Well, we're riding as if we're going out into the forest, but um, we're not tonight. We will go over the footbridge, but uh, we'll just nip round Burton and come back out again. And it just does that little extra loop that makes absolutely sure that we do over the 25. 
I mean, Kamut says 27 already, but you know, let's just make sure, shall we? <laughs> I'm surprised there's not some sort of lighting along here because there must be shifts at the airport that start at 5 and 6 o'clock in the morning it's absolutely pitch black here Yeah, so on the right here is British Airways Plain Storage Area, otherwise known as Bournemouth International Airport. Ah, during uh, lockdown 1.0, absolutely full of jumbos, wide body jets, all in British Airways livery. Yeah. They've all been moved. Well, mostly, there are some big ones still there, but, uh, yeah. This is the new bit of bike path that's uh, not been put in that long ago. So this is lovely and smooth. There's been no tunnels for me to yee-haw in tonight. We've still got Laybourne Avenue to uh, get up to the top. And then I can start thinking about a cup of tea. Anyway, nice ride. Thank you very much. Definitely done 24.6. So we're done 25 by the top of the hill. Ah, oh, he is coming round. You have to be careful there because they don't always turn. And only 95% of the traffic turn. You've also got to be a little bit careful on approach because they cut the corner. They tend to take the racing line so they can come on your side of the road. Ah, there we go. What are we on? 26.7? Another 25 miles in the bank, as it were. That's not say bank, that's Leonard's thing, isn't it? Another 25 miles in the books. 